Bell, nice ball through. Could this be a City opener? Good save by Day. He'll have another go. Bell yeah, finds the back of the net. Less than eight minutes gone. That wasn't very good. Well played by Wells. You can never rest on your laurels when he's around, and he might make them pay here. Wells, superb finish. Nothing less than expected from the Bermuda International. Now King onto the left and Bell. He's going to go down the outside this time, pulls it across, and it is three. I don't think this one's going to get ruled out, and it's Naki Wells. Although it's over everyone, it'll be kept alive on the far side with Williams. Oh, brilliant. Nice bit of play to find King. And it's four. Zach Viner gets himself on the score sheet. Scott on the left-hand side, still forward from that delivery a moment ago. Cuts onto his right, I'll have a go here. And he has found the back of the net. I'm not sure if he got a touch on the way through. Given up a little cheaply, but City then get it back just as cheaply. And now Scott driving forward yet again. I think he's been listening to you, Rob. <laughs> and bundled into, I think that's by one of the Newport trialists. So not a great afternoon for him. And Wells from the spot. Finds the bottom corner, no mistake. Pring and Bell linking up nicely down the left there. And here is Pring now, skipping inside. Thought about having a go. Instead, it's Scott. And there is the seventh. He really does look like a man with a point to prove. Yeah. Lisa. Touch. Lovely touch from Scott, who doesn't take it, but does finish it. <laughs> it is eight. And that is the final touch of the game. Alex Scott doubles his money. At Bristol City's eighth and puts the shine on a very fine afternoon's work at the High Performance Centre.